Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Inane Dragon, and tonight's video comes with the first ever content warning. There will be several graphic images and clips contained herein. If you have a sensitive stomach when it comes to gore, you are well advised to put something else on your screen and just listen to the grating sounds of my alcohol-ravaged voice. What the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about another gift from our friend, Faye the Nurse, who previously inspired the Vitamin B17 video. This time, we have... Black Salve. Black Salve, sometimes called Drawing Salve, and never to be confused with Black Slaves, covers a variety of pseudoscientific quackery, but is typically a mixture of bloodroot and zinc chloride. Thankfully, I'm not the first quasi-sane person to talk about it, but while the fad hasn't faded away, people speaking out about how stupid the treatment is seem to have gone quiet. So, what the hell is this Black Salve shit? And I'm here to talk a little bit today about uh, something that is from nature, that is God-given, and that is safe probably safer than that bird might be from pooping on my head if he decides to go over top of me, he or she. I'm going to be talking a little bit about in the future, in the upcoming future, about a product, product called Black Salve. Many people are talking about Black Salve on the internet, and I thought what a great place to be in a na great natural setting to talk about a natural product like Black Salve. And you'll see a lot of people using it these days on different parts of their skin to uh, take away what they're talking and saying is melanoma or skin cancer or skin tags or oops or moles. I have a little bit of fear of being of that of birds, but I don't have a fear of black salve. So that was a perfect drop, backdrop to this topic. Um, there's a plane flying overhead and I think the chance of black staff hurting me is less or is uh, that plane falling on my head is a greater risk of have of hurting me than have having black salve hurt me. Black salve is what is known as an escarotic and escarotics are things that form escars. Everyone know exactly what I mean? No? I'm making absolutely no sense because it's a terrible definition. Yes, I, I agree, but playing the dictionaries, that's where I got this definition from. Escars are similar to scabs, only that a scab is a dried coagulation of blood and several organic compounds secreted by your body as part of the process of healing a wound. An escar, on the other hand, is a dried coagulation of necrotized cells caused by burns, and in particular chemical burns. There's nothing about an escar that has anything to do with your body's natural healing processes. That's right, escharotics are things that burn your fucking flesh. The main active ingredient in black salve are zinc chloride and an ammonium salt extract from the plant bloodroot, both of which are caustic chemicals capable of inflicting severe wounds. These are then mixed with DMSO, which helps your skin absorb the chemicals, increasing the likelihood of subdermal damage rather than just a few superficial burns. Some formulations toss in chaparral, properly known as Laria tridentata. Ingested, it can cause liver and kidney damage. However, I found no signs that mixing it with DMSO will cause any of these kinds of problems in topical applications. I have to admit that both bloodroot extract and chaparral have been used in Native American folk remedy since the colonial period, if not earlier. That being said, hold your damn horses. All kinds of shit shows up in folk medicine, including drinking urine, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Chaparral was predominantly used in the treatment of tuberculosis, chickenpox, and what we would now call sexually transmitted infections. How this wound up in a 20th century quack cancer remedy, I doubt I will ever really know. Bloodroot, on the other hand, was a common folk remedy for warts, moles, lesions, and other blemishes of the skin. It would burn off the contact area, and sometimes that would genuinely be enough to cure what ails you. In a world without modern medical treatment, it could be better than nothing. 
Thankfully, we don't live in such a world. Rather, we live in a world of modern tested medicine. Treatment for all of these conditions has advanced significantly, both in terms of success rates and safety. But then, Black Salve does have its roots not just in folk remedies, but actually in a legitimate medical practice. A medical technique that has not been used since the 1970s, granted, but it does actually have a basis in modern medicine, which might help explain why it persists despite the tendency for the treatment to burn your face off. Long ago and far away in the distant land of Wisconsin, a medical student by the name of Frederick Mose was developing a new medical technique to treat surface melanomas. The technique was a combination of surgery and diagnosis that required tissue fixation prior to the operation. Tissue fixation is simply the process of preserving tissue so that it can be analyzed under a microscope without decaying before medical diagnosis is accomplished. It was for this purpose that Mo, working with a pharmacist, developed a paste containing zinc chloride and bloodroot, the two primary active ingredients in modern black salve. The Mohs paste, as the original formulation was known, would be applied under strict medical protocols and served the purpose of preserving the structure of the cells even as it killed them. The region under test would then be surgically removed and analyzed for the presence of tumors. The process, called Mohs surgery, would be repeated under the guidance of an oncologist trained in the procedure until all traces of cancer were gone from the tissue the surgeon cut away. Outside of these controls, Mo opposed any and all use of his paste or similar caustic agents. Mo's surgery is still performed to this day. The only thing that has changed, we now use far safer tools than Mo's paste to perform the fixation. When people use Dr. Mo's work to justify black solve, you can not only remind them of the protocols put into place for the use of Mo's paste as a counter-argument, you can point to the fact that the treated flesh is surgically removed to reject one of their most common claims about black salve. And I've talked about um, that it doesn't burn your skin. How it works is it, it, it eats, it, in, my, in the best wording I can figure, it eats the skin cancer and it'll trace the, the cancerous root as far down in, into the skin as it needs to, wherever the cancerous, cancerous material goes within, if you see a skin cancer mark and you use black salve on it and the skin cancer is only this deep and so wide, say just two centimeters deep and, and two centimeters in circumference, if that's what you have in skin cancer, the black salve will go two centimeters deep and two centimeters wide, and it might appear wider, broader for a short time, but it will, it will kill the cancer cells and then draw up into a head like a, like a pimple would look. People are calling it an S-char, E-S-C-H-A-R. The, the little um, debris that it draws up into its head, they're calling it, referring it to an S jar. And they're saying, if you watch videos on it, I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people's videos, everything you see, the pictures that you see are true. The S jar stuff and the material is a very gross thing to look at. And it true, it is, it just, it, it is. Um, so it, it will, if, the, if your skin cancer is an inch deep and four inches wide in circumference, in diameter, then the black salve will eat the skin cancer four inches deep. It'll eat all of the debris that is cancer. It'll eat all of the cells that are cancerous. I'm using the word eat because it will like, it will destroy it. It will reach it and it will affect the, the skin cancer cells and it will go as wide and as deep as it needs to. And then it will trace it. If the skin cancer goes into the skin and then curves and goes around, 
however far it goes, the black salve will go, eat, go through into the cancer cells, turn and follow the root, the entire root system of a cancerous cell. Yep, black salve, like vitamin B17, is claimed to magically target only the cancerous cells. Think about how I described the surgery and how they determine when to stop cutting. Yeah, that's right. The layer of dead cells formed by the Mohs paste is removed and analyzed to determine if cancer is present, meaning that there will be at least some non-cancerous cells killed by the Mohs paste in the process. So there cannot be discrimination between the cancerous and non-cancerous cells by either zinc chloride or blood root. Otherwise, Mohs surgery would not require surgery. Could I end it here? Yes, I could end it here. We've already debunked all of the core claims, and that's just by looking up the very doctor that Black Solve advocates would want to point you towards in order to put a layer of whitewash on their dog shit. This shit eats you alive. Do not slap it on your moles. Go to a doctor. Get real treatment. See? Easy peasy. If someone tells you about a great escharotic to treat your pimple, punch them. Because we've been over this already, an escharotic is so called because it forms an escar, which we've established is a lump of dead tissue that sloughs off of your body after you have suffered from a burn or a caustic reaction. It's not a scab. Scabs are formed by your immune system. An escar is a lump of necrotized flesh, and an escharotic is something that necrotizes your flesh. Am I repeating myself enough to get through to you? Am I being graphic enough about how you are killing yourself? Then why are you still necrotizing yourself? Stop necrotizing yourself. Sorry for that. This is just such a ridiculous claim in this day and age. I get it. Cancer is scary. Treatment is expensive. And sometimes it seems like everyone is working against the patient. But there is no universal cure for cancer today, and there probably never will be a singular cure for cancer. Ever. This is a complex family of diseases where your personal history, the cause of the initial malignant growth, and the tissue from which it developed all play critical roles in the development and the course of the disease. And as such, treatment for the foreseeable future will have to be tailored to your specific circumstances. It is not something you can smear a paste that you bought off of the internet from a so-called lab in Mexico. I'm a named dragon, and I'm not drunk enough to find a reasonable segue from this topic to an outro. So I'm just gonna leave you here with a picture of what happens when you use black salve on your junk. I'm a named dragon, and if you've enjoyed this inanity, consider subscribing for more of the same. Good night, everyone, and thank you for watching.